just a little bit on the 2002 Catholic Church scandal. So um, what happened here was, you know, reporters dug in, exposed the Boston Archdiocese, and then it was like this domino effect uh, where all these other victims started, you know, coming, coming forward, not only in the United States, but all around the world. Okay. Um, what happened, you know, what really was the issue, other than the abuse itself, was how the church covered it up, how they would move uh, priests around um, after accusations versus actually deal dealing with the issues. Um, and the church often handled everything, so it was handled internally versus the authorities. Um, they had paid just from this, um, these scandals, uh, two to three billion dollars in settlements. Again, that, that number is unknown, what it actually is. And there was over 300, I mean, 3,000 cases that came to light during this time. So it was a major, major thing in the news around the time of the making of Red Hot Catholic Love. That they, again, they play on it. The satire is that it's written in the sacred deposit that priests can have sex with little boys. So they you know, they really challenge, you know, South Park does, like, why, why can't they have sex with whoever they want, you know, um, which, is, which is an interesting point, right, like, why, why can't, why can't we challenge those, those beliefs, and when we do, what happens is the system crumbles. Uh, you have a lot of intertextuality here, we start with Randy's um, dream of uh, the Catholic love boat, um, which is a play on the Love Boat show. Okay, so they have the Catholic Boat, and then, you know, it's a play on the Love Boat, which was a, uh, you know, a sitcom uh, in the 70s. Uh, they also have a play on uh, Pitfall, which was a, a, a video game of, of the 80s, um, and that's where Father Maxie goes to get the sacred deposit, so they, they play on that. So there's a little intertextuality there as well. That leads us to Bloody Mary. Um, again, I love this episode. This episode is a pretty, um, great episode. Uh, you know, it goes in on, on multiple things. Um, you know, uh, really goes in on the role of choice, um, in our behaviors and our inability to lack discipline and the role of religion in, um, you know, creating discipline. So it's a, it's a critique in some ways of the Catholic Church. It's a, really a critique of uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, um, you know, as being a religious, a religious group. Um, but it's a really, it's, a, it's interesting, it's just an interesting episode uh, in, in general that, you know, whereas Randy's an alcoholic, he has no control over his, um, himself and his disease, okay? He finds that control, um, you know, through getting some of uh, the ass blood of the bleeding Virgin Mary uh, on him. And then he finds out that it's not actually a miracle because it's not ass blood. Um, and so then he loses all of his, all of his, con all of his control um, and lack, you know, makes bad choices. And, um, you know, what this really goes into is this idea of, you know, when things happen for people, is it because of their choices or because of a God? And what South Park is really saying is it's, it's our choices to do good and, and bad things. Um, you know, that like there, God doesn't really play a, a role in our choices to stay sober or our choices to, to, to drink. So um, this was a very controversial episode. So it aired on the eve of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which is a, um, a pretty important holiday. Uh, and, and, you know, that, you know, uh, adherent Catholics uh, partake in, uh, specifically, you know, Catholics who are very Catholic, let's just say. It was a controversial episode because, you know, the Virgin Mary is a sacred, godlike, um, I don't want to say character, <laughs> figure uh, in the Catholic, in the Catholic religion, but, you know, uh, this episode did get eventually censored um, because it didn't get re-aired, and it was largely because of advertisers. Uh, advertisers pressured Comedy Central, and they caved in, as well as a board member, and I'll talk about that, uh, a board member on the Viacom board. Um, but yeah, it's really about, like, you know, 
the role of God in, in people, in choice, in life, in our behaviors, in, you know, how do our choices and behaviors, um, you know, what are the consequences of those in positive and negative, and what role does God play in that? Uh, there's another element of choice versus faith, um, you know, and we see that primarily in the critique of Alcoholics Anonymous. So faith is believing in something that seems illogical. Um, I, I'm not even, I don't want to say illogical, but that just, you know, like you believe in ghosts. You have faith that ghosts exist. You have faith that, you know, Jesus exists. You have faith that there's a hell, what, whatever it is, right? These are things that we have no proof of, right? We have no proof. I mean, maybe we have proof of ghosts, but <laughs> we don't really have proof of these things, but you believe them, and that's called faith. So what's the difference between having faith and choice, okay? In the element, you know, at the end, the, the end moral really is, is like we need to have discipline. Maybe we don't need God. Maybe we don't need these superstitions, but what we need is we need to make good choices. We need to have discipline, okay? Obviously, major, major uh, carnivalesque and lower body stratum critique here goes to the, you know, the Catholic Church through the uh, bleeding Virgin Mary. In the end, though, you know, we find out that as you will see, but I'm going to spoil it for you. Uh, we find out that, you know, the ass, the, the statue of Virgin Mary who is bleeding out of her ass, um, the Pope comes and inspects it in a very Looney Tunes illusion sort of way and finds out that, you know, uh, uh, it's actually not a miracle. This is after all the, the alcoholics have been cured um, by it, the sort of placebo of the of it, uh, they find out that it's not ass blood, that she was actually having her period. So the Pope says a chick bleeding out her vagina is no miracle. Chicks bleed out their vaginas all the time. Uh, Pope Benedict the 14th, no, 16th. Um, anyways, so this episode did end up being censored. Uh, the Catholic League for Religious and Civil Rights, um, they're a group that is an anti-defamation group for, for Catholics, essentially. So when the Catholic Church is critiqued or attacked, they, um, you know, they stand up for the, the Catholic religion, um, and they also look out for the First Amendment rights of Catholics to, you know, talk about their religious beliefs. Um, but the issue comes this, right? So they, while they ad, are, believe in the First Amendment for, peop, for Catholics to be able to talk about their religion in various ways and critique other people, um, they often stand up against critiques of the Catholic Church, in this instance, South Park. Uh, there was a lot of opposition to the portrayal of, of Virgin Mary uh, and a blasphemous portrayal of Virgin Mary in this, okay? Um, just like Trapped in the Closet, as we'll learn in our next class, um, this did not re-air in a similar way um, because of pressure from advertisers and pressure from Joseph A. Califano, uh, who was on Viacom's board of directors. As you know, Viacom owns Comedy Central, so pressure from the Catholic League for Religious and Civil Rights and from uh, a board member um, got it so this episode was also not re-aired. So let's just watch this episode. I want you to think about, um, you know, some things. I want you to think about, you know, uh, what does it mean to have faith? What does it mean to believe in something? What does it mean to make choices? What does... Um, what does it mean? What, 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 what is blasphemy? Um, we'll talk about this in more de detail, but like how does South, South Park, you know, um, disrespect the sacred? And what could be a problem with that? So kind of think about those things. We'll watch that episode, then we'll talk a little bit about the readings and then a little bit about atheism.